Fred Theory Radio. This is Chiara Nicoletti from the 17th edition of Rome International Film Festival. I'm with Berenice Bejo and Michelle Zanavicius, actress and director of Coupe Cup. I read, I had this habit uh, after watching a film um, to read some reviews. And one of the reviews said it's a cinema lesson. Uh, I totally agree. And I was wondering what is cinema for you? A pyramid of people working for the love of images or moving images? Um, well, it's different thing. It's. Uh... You can think about cinema as like movies, like finished uh, movies. Uh, that's the result of the making of the movie. Or you can think about cinema, the way we live cinema is uh, to make movies. So it's not about the result, it's about to, to make a movie is an adventure by itself. So this one is talking about the adventure of making a movie. And that can be ridiculous, that can be heroic, the movie can be good, the movie can be bad, but however, it's, it's an adventure and it's, uh, uh, it's about solidarity, it's about being together, working together. And uh, so this is the serious part of the movie, but the fact is, in that case, they are stupid, they are making a very bad movie and we can see it. And, uh, and they're not really good in the way they work, and, uh, so that makes the comment. But um, if, I, if you ask me what, what cinema is for me, it's uh, a human advent adventure with uh, other people and trying our best to create something that will uh, enter entertain other people that we don't know. <laughs> so this, it's ridiculous. <laughs> What do you think? Ben? Yeah, I, I agree with Michel. So I, I mean, for, for me, what's interesting is really the adventure. Of course, I'm so happy to see the movie, but what I would always remember is the way we did it, uh, people I met, and uh, yeah, and the experience. Uh, I was reading uh, the press notes, and you said that we should never take for granted that Berenice will accept to make a, uh, one of your films, so <laughs> why did you decide to, to do it? Mm, no, at this time in that it's, case, in that case it was the opposite, because he, he, he wrote the, the, the adaptation, the remake, and we saw the, 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 the Japanese movie together, and watching it I was like, ah, oh, the, the, the character of the makeup artist is really interesting, I mean, she's so fun. And when he wrote the adaptation, he said, well, I think you're not the character. I, I think I'm looking for someone a little bit different. Maybe very rude. Maybe you're, you're too uh, cute for the character. And that I was like, what? What do you mean too cute? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, are, you can be the character. I mean, my, and I was a little bit offended. And, uh, and I didn't read the adaptation. And he was like, can you read? Can you read? Tell me what you think. And I was like, no, I mean, I'm not in the movie. I have so many, so many scripts to read and so many other things to do. <laughs> and, uh, and at one point, well, he was tired. Uh, no, you were sick with the COVID and really, really bad in the bed and feeling so bad that I felt so bad for him that I was like, OK, I'm going to read your script. And I read the script and I loved it. And I could see that the shooting will be so much fun, that the result should be really, I mean, I, I was, I knew I would love the movie. And I thought, I have to be in this movie because I'll be so jealous if I'm, if I'm not. So I went to see him, like he was like uh, fever and everything. And I said, well, you know, the script is really amazing. And I do it finger in the nose. <laughs> it was like finger in the nose. Okay, just do it. You can uh, also do Krav Maga, right? You what? So you can, can also do Krav Maga. Yeah. So? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I learned. <laughs> I learned. And it was not so easy. I didn't do it finger in the nose. But, but in this case, yeah, I really, I, I was like, please, just give me the role. I, I, I know I can do it. And it's not about being cute or not. I, I just can't do it. Could we also uh, say that this is also a family comedy? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, there's always a story behind the comedies. I mean, and even if you do like stupid jokes one after the other, there's always a serious story.
behind the jokes yeah, or behind the, the comedy is a, a family affair. Yeah, something and, and it, it's fun because uh, the main character is a director and his wife is played by Bernice, who's we live together in real life and his daughter is played by my daughter so it was really like meta and, uh, and it was fun and uh, yes it talks about that as well the, the, the fact that you want to you don't want to deceive your children and uh, because when they are kids they, they see you as heroes and when they grew up, they realized that you're not that hero. And uh, but you try to to fit to that image in a way. No, and, and also her, his daughter, who played my daughter in the movie, uh, wants to be a director, and his dad is a bad director. And then at the you know and in the movie in yeah. the movie, <laughs> and uh, well, I don't want to spoil, so I, I can't spoil. But there's something about yeah, totally metaphysic. Let's say learning from his father. Yes. Her father's mistakes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's learning from her, basically. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for the film. I loved it. Like, I Thank you. And we've been talking to Michelle Zanavicius and Berenice Bejo, director and actress of Coupe. Cut at the Rome International Film Festival and this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.